So it hasn't been even a month since I reviewed the Chins battery, and I thought that was the cheapest battery on the market, but now they have this thing available for $3.99 on Amazon. And on paper, this one actually looks better than a lot of the other ones that are available. This one can be series connected to 48 volts. They claim 4,000 to 8,000 cycles. The whole pack is 25 pounds. It has five year warranty and an online response team that will respond within 24 hours. And free return, but they'll pay shipping. But what I don't see is low temp charging protection on any of the advertisements. So we're gonna rip this thing open and see if it has it. But first we need to charge it up and do our initial capacity test and it says it can charge with 100 amps so let's test that first if we trigger overcurrent protection then we know that it can't handle this so it's been charging for about 10 minutes let's increase the current 122 amps 140 is the max I can do with these chargers. And you don't want to do this with your lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is only for testing purposes. So the chargers are done, but we're going to test the high voltage disconnect and get that final bit of absorption. Look at that. The current is dropping. That's so cool. That's just how these batteries work, but it's, it's cool to see that occur. Oh, look at that. So high voltage disconnect does work. So we're on the CBA4 and we're gonna start the test. This is a 0.2C, so we'll be back in about five hours. So the test is now done. 104.25 amp hours. That is the same figure that we got for Chin's battery. I wonder if it's the same battery. That is like the identical result. And that's within 0.1 amp hours of accuracy. That's incredible. But this is a very accurate test machine. So yeah, let's open this battery up and see what's inside. You know what? It has the same case as a Chins battery, has the same capacity as a Chins battery. It's super cheap on Amazon, the same certifications as a Chins battery, but it has a different label. Maybe they're trying to appeal to my generation with this rainbow or something so they can make more money off of us. You know, that used to work back in the day. No way! It's a Chins! Does this look familiar? This is a Chins battery, no way! It has the same exact terminals and it's just as hard as the Chins batteries to remove them. And this is the fiber board from a Chins battery and it fits on top perfectly. How many companies are relabeling this pack? Or are they all the same company? I don't know. But why would anybody buy a Chins battery when you can buy this one for $100 cheaper? Guys, it is literally a clone of the Chins battery. Well, that doesn't make it very fun now, does it? I was expecting something different, especially for the price. So yeah, if you guys want an Ampere Time or a Chins battery for $100 cheaper, this is it. How much cheaper can they get? Seriously, I, this is crazy what you're getting for the price. So again, if you guys have not seen my previous videos, Chins, Ampere, and now Zoom's batteries do not have low temp charging protection. So if you're using this in a cold environment, be sure to use a solar charge controller that features low temp charging protection. So here's the Chins battery that we tested about two weeks ago, and everything, literally everything is the same. Even the connection points on the BMS, the foam placement, everything is identical. Even the barcode on the cells is the same. B01, B01, 04042842844. So yeah, these are clones of each other. I'm still biased to building my own packs because I know exactly what's going in and I can service them over time. But for everyday people with an RV or an off-grid solar power system that's not reaching a freezing temperature, for the price, this is pretty good. And you can connect these in series up to 48 volts. So you could actually have a serious size system with these. And something else to notice is that all of these packs, including the 50 amp hour one that we tested a long time ago have consistent build quality. Sometimes with cheaper batteries they throw whatever they can in there at the cheapest price possible but no matter when I buy these whether it was six months ago three months ago or right now they look the same you're getting the same stuff every single time. Not long ago we were doing battery teardowns for $700 packs almost double the cost of this one and the build quality was atrocious. The fact that they're actually doing this at this price point is just 
remarkable. I mean, this really opens up lithium iron phosphate for a lot of people. And for some people, this will arrive in one to two days. So yeah, that's really cool. I like how there's an actual option available like this. And that's all I have to say about this battery. I can't think of anything else. If you wanna see further in-depth testing of this pack, please check out my older video. And that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.